in terms of intimidation, start things off. Eddie Morales and Lonnie Moore back deep to receive for Monmouth. Second round of the FCS playoffs underway. Lonnie Moore takes it at the five for the Big South champion Hawks. He is dispossessed. The ball is loose. Still on the ground. Monmouth looks like they were able to cover it. Solomon Van Horse on special teams. Kenji Bahar, the quarterback. Pete Guerrero, the tailback, going to see so much of the ball today. And right off the bat, he is gone. Oh, he is a track star. Nobody is catching Pete Guerrero. 94 yards to the house. <laughs> starting quarterback transferred from Pitt they didn't have any scholarships available he walked on has won the job two years in a row and he slings it to Ben Polk grad transfer from Penn State opportunity here on third and seven got to get to the quarterback they look for Riley Stapleton the wide receiver of the brother tandem and he's got the catch in the first down Danucci to throw on first down quickly gets it out to Polk he's got space Ben Polk going to break one, and James Madison responds right away. 49 yards for the score. Ben Polk. How many adjustments James Madison defensive coordinator Corey Hederman can make off of that? Now Lonnie Moore had the ball knocked out on his first return. He gets past the 25. He gets a crease. And Lonnie Moore into James Madison territory. Still going. Two big plays, two Monmouth touchdowns. The Hawks came to play today. <laughs> what a start in Harrisonburg. This is incredible. And Danucci will throw on second down, slings it out to Stapleton, makes one man miss and has the first down. Shoved out at the 40. On outside right now. The give goes to Percy at Jay Obese, and he has the first down before he is stacked up never size that Monmouth has seen all year he's stacked up but falls forward and has the first down to Jay Obese getting it done through the tackles Danucci out of the reach of Polk flag on the play as Justin Terry chased him across the field there's also a collision behind the play that's interference Defense, number 20. Enough penetration against this big offensive line of James Madison. Tenth play of the drive, and Hamilton has the first down again. Fine, they still stick to the run game. As you say that, they find a Stapleton goal line. Touchdown, Riley Stapleton and JMU. Goal. You're looking for when his knee is down. I actually thought he was short in real time, but... After further review, the ruling on the field has changed. The runner was a half-yard line short of the touchdown. Wow. It'll be a first down and goal for James Madison. James Madison first and goal from the one at Jay Obese. Trying to pull the pile forward. He did cross the plane. It is a James Madison touchdown. Danucci all day to throw and find Brandon Polk for a first down into Monmouth territory. Backside of his third progression through a nice ball. Jay Obese gets the corner, has the first down, and is near the 20 with a big carry. We're starting to see what the JMU offense can do. Danucci just slings it down low for Brown. He's going to the corner. Jake Brown has a JMU touchdown. They convert and then some to take the lead. Lined up in the slot. Bahar rolls that way. And with a high reach, Zach Treadway pulls in the first down catch. The guy who got invited to the NFL PA Bowl, Senior Bowl, last week, 22 TFL, second in FCS. Quick throw finds Lonnie Moore. He made one man miss, and he has the first down past the 30-yard line. Play of the drive after they had not been able to sustain one earlier. Bahar under some pressure looking for Green. A lot of hand fighting. Green brought it in. He's out of bounds at the one. 
more separation so the ball can be put off the outside shoulder. And I know James Madison fans are saying that's a push off. Review the ruling on the field is reversed to a touchdown. Juwan Hamilton with him. Danucci keeps it one on one against Powell. He's going to burn him easily and turn it upfield. Ben Danucci crosses midfield with a big gainer. Hamilton the tailback again. Danucci gives to him this time. Hamilton got past Powell and he's finally dragged down by Dewan Cooper, but he's moved the sticks again. He'll keep it on the ground. Hamilton bounces it, has a block, and is knocked out of bounds. Just shy of the 15. It's another first down, but there is a... He's the back on third and short. Danucci keeps it wide open. He'll walk in. Ben Danucci strolling into the end zone. Blitz coming. Bahar can't pick it up, and he's sacked. First time today. Rondell Carter, of course. Great opportunity to kind of step on the throat of Monmouth. Pump and go route, but Polk was covered. Well defended by Monmouth. Danucci extending. Settling in, throwing, and connecting. On third down, Danucci checks down to a run. Evan Powell holding him. Daquan grinds, and he's shoved forward. He lost the football. They're calling him down with the first down after the middle of the field. He's looking at Riley Stapleton. Comeback route. That looked like it bounced. Incomplete. Should be automatic from that range on this day. And he just cleared the uprights. He actually ran into a little bit of wind going against him. James Madison beat him a couple of years ago en route to the title game. Talk about a cushion. Stapleton had all day to line that. Kickoff return by Lonnie Moore. It has been one-way traffic for the most part. Dumping it down. This is Dylan Stapleton. He's got a first down and is finally pushed out at the 23. Place deathly quiet on third and 23. Stapleton the target and he's hauled down, but they get into field goal range. Danucci gets pressure, has to get it away and has the first down catch made. Devin Ravenel. And Jay Obese dives forward for the score. James Madison starting to pull away late in the first half. Empty backfield, Bahar to throw. Has Terrence Green. He needs to get out of bounds. He does, and then he's thrown down. Might be a flag, it is. And that's going to push Monmouth into James Madison territory. Passing situation. Pocket collapsing, he dumps it down, complete to Lonnie Moore, has the first down. Stop in college football for a first down. There's the tempo we were expecting. Finds Terrence Green, first down inside the 20. He does by time. Directing traffic as well and has to sail it away in the direction of Green, but from 36 yards away. Blocked. Blocked again, twice in a row. No dice. Time out. That gotten called in Mascara here. This time. Straight drop all day. And it's Brown, who had a touchdown earlier as well. Started, he calls them mom and dad. He's still in touch with his whole family. As Hamilton able to break one, gets past Grimes, gets past almost everybody. Down to the 20 for James Madison. Wide open in space. Brown couldn't make one man miss, but he does pick up the first down. Danucci wants to take it himself, does take it himself. Second rushing score of the game. The uh, man in the backfield. In zone read, Bishop didn't get it. He's thrown back. JMU defense stands tall once again. Five interception performance against Colgate last year from his resume. And again, we talked about the cushion, just huge cushion there, as it's Dylan Stapleton with... And Jay Obese finds a crease up the middle, and he's pulled down after picking up the first down. Day number 68 for James Madison, doubling Monmouth up, and a Jay Obese has another touchdown. James Madison rolling toward the quarterfinals. Mercy. I mean, it, it's so balanced. And Jay Obese gets the first down. JMU and zero for Monmouth. 
Van Horst has the first down. And this Jamie Rosser, Dylan Stapleton, another guy that had transferred off from D2. Curlew gets the first down in the fourth quarter, but. Curlew inside the 10, taking advantage of his opportunity. Johnson will throw here on second down and has the touchdown pass. Drew Painter, the tight end, with the grab, just his fourth catch of the year. Greg Schiano hopes to have the word out to be pulling in some of those guys. But it's going to be interesting to see what Kevin Callahan and this program can become. A lot of space, and Bahar found Guerrero across midfield. After he got done with track. And we told you he's their only scholarship running back as they dump it down to Lonnie Moore. Again, had to win the turnover battle to have any chance, and they haven't come close. And there is a turnover right on cue, and it's going to be six. Charles Tutt to the house. Ball game. 78 yards. Out to the sideline. It's a little RPO. He sees he's got one-on-one, -on -one and he just leaves the ball inside. This and steal a couple extra possessions. James Madison keeping it on the ground, and Eric Curlew is breaking it. Finally tripped up at midfield. Of course, you never know what the transfer portal will bring. You do not. Curlew busting another solid run. Curlew met by Solomon Manning. And Monmouth will see the clock run out on this one. James Madison, a favorite for the national title. They show why today, 66-21 demolition, ending Monmouth's best season ever. JMU on to the quarterfinals.